Hi, I'm Pam and I am back today with another video pertaining to some one of our travel ideas. Uh, we just arrived today at this new campsite and this is in the Petersburg campground that is part of the Army Corps of Engineer campgrounds and it is on the Strom Thurmond Reservoir near Augusta, Georgia. Very nice place. We're going to enjoy this, I can tell. So today, Bob is going to talk to you, and I'm going to hold the camera, and we'll see what he can explain, okay? Hi, I'm Bob, and I'm going to show you our WeBoost destination uh, cell phone booster. Um, this is something that we got off of, or we purchased it off of Amazon, and we use it when we have, when we get to a campground and we have very weak cell phone coverage. Uh, we will set this up to boost whatever signal we're getting. And I'll just run through that very quickly with you. There are several components to it. I'll go through the outside components first. First of all, there's the um, outside antenna, which is that white uh, contraption up there. That is a directional um, antenna. You point that at, in the direction of a cell phone tower. And I have a uh, uh, website that I use, cellmapper.net, to determine where the cell towers are that I need to point that at. There are other types of antennas that WeBoost has. One is an omnidirectional, which is uh, picks up a signal from any direction. You don't have to point it at all. Uh, but that one does not boost as much as the directional one will. So that's why we chose that. Uh, that antenna is attached to uh, a post here with some wing nuts up here and then the pole is a telescoping pole so I can raise that up uh, quite high if I need to. The higher you get it supposedly with a pole the higher you get the antenna the better the signal will be so uh, you know, maybe we can get past trees or other objects in the way and get a better signal if we need to. Uh, the pole itself, I attached to the outside of our trailer using some suction cups that I got at Harbor Freight. And I used just some hose clamps to attach the um, suction cups to the, uh, to the post. I'll use a couple of paper towels, uh, a wet one and a dry one, to wash off the outside of the trailer as well as the suction cup so I've got a nice clean surface to attach to. Attach that there. Attach this one up here. The other thing that you see here is the coaxial cable. This is the cable that runs from the external antenna we have it running along the top of our awning back to the back of the trailer where it will enter through the door and attach then to the booster on the inside of the trailer and we'll go back there now. Here's where the cable is coming down from the outside here. And it attaches to a little flat cable that came with the kit that we used to uh, run it right through the door here. And on the inside, that connects to another coaxial cable that we have routed into this uh, cabinet up here. Now this cabinet is where we have the booster itself, which is plugged in, it needs a power source. We have another cable coming out of that that we have routed over through into another cabinet or along the top of another cabinet to an internal antenna over here where the boosted signal is sent out. Um, there's a couple different um, apps or websites that we use. Uh, again, we use cellmapper.net cell as a website for determining where the towers are. And on that app, there's a map where you can look at where your location is and then where the cell tower locations are. And so you could determine on a compass heading what direction you need to point that external antenna to, to uh, point it right at one of those cell towers. 
and I always I always try and uh, find the one that's closest to us and we'll test that out if that works good uh, good if not I'll try and find another tower another app that I use an app on my phone is called speed test and it measures the download and the upload si uh, signal that we're um, trying to get um, it measures it in megabytes per second and we like to see a good Im you know increase on that generally can you, can you show an example of that Bob uh, speed test is right here and once we have it attached we'll hit go and what it does it starts measuring the download first of all in megabits per second and once it determines that then it'll switch to the upload so the download is 2.92 megabits per second which i will say we've had a lot better than that but this is better than what we had before we hooked anything yeah. up here mm -hmm. so yeah, this isn't as good as what we would like to see, but it's better than nothing. Can you show that record? Um, here is... Here's a record of some different tests that I've done so far. Let's see, in the 20th. Before I hooked anything up, I think the... The test was 0 0.71 download and 0 0.59 upload. So we're getting an improvement from that at this time. So that is how we use our WeBoost. I hope uh, that has answered some of your questions. And uh, I hope you have a good day. Thank you. Bye.